What he did was criminal. What he did was a terrible thing to the people. What he did was so bad in terms of our Constitution, in terms of the, the well-being of our country. What he did was horrible. Should he be locked up? Let somebody make a determination. Tell us how you really feel. President Trump tearing into the former FBI director James Comey today over the bombshell IG report, calling Comey's actions criminal. Joining me now is Greg Jarrett, former defense attorney and a Fox News anchor, and Danny Colson, former deputy assistant director of the FBI. Greg, let me start with you. Is the president right? Is there anything in there that's criminal? Yes, it would be obstruction of justice. You can obstruct your own investigation. There's a key phrase in the report describing Comey's conduct. He made ad hoc decisions based on his personal views. In other words, he was manipulating the system, contorting the law, twisting the facts to reach a predetermined outcome that he desired. That is arguably a corrupt act under the obstruction of justice statute, so the president makes a valid point. Wow. Danny, um, let me ask you, you know, a, a lot of what was revealed here has to do with those texts, and it, it wasn't just Peter Strzok. I mean, it was a lot of other officials. There's one that's unidentified. It just says FBI colleague. Trump supporters are all poor to middle class, uneducated, lazy POS. Um, this doesn't make people feel good about the FBI, who's supposed to be out there enforcing the law and doing investigations. Here's how Director Ray proposes to fix things. We're going to adhere to the appropriate disciplinary process. And once that process is complete, we won't hesitate to hold people accountable for their actions. What do you think, Danny? Is that enough? Will that do the trick? <clears throat> well, first of all, um, this was never an FBI investigation to begin with. Uh, James Comey hijacked an investigation and took it into his own little office where he ran the investigation in a incompetent way and then made the prosecutor decision himself. So he controlled it from start to finish. I like what uh, Director Ray had to say. Um, this, he, he put separation between the FBI and this cabal of loose cannon um, crazy people uh, and the FBI. This is, the FBI had nothing to do with this case. It was taken away from the FBI and put into his office. The FBI never got a chance to investigate it. Remember, Watergate was run by field agents. Iran-Contra was run by field commanders, not by the director. And those came to a conclusion that was logical. This case was totally unlike that. Greg, what do you think of that? Oh, I think it's absolutely correct. Uh, look, James Comey surrounded himself purposely with people who, were, like Peter Strzok and Lisa Page and Andrew McCabe, who were profoundly biased. And the IG report found persistent and pervasive levels of bias. And this is the important part, quote, a willingness to take official action to impact the presidential candidate's election prospects based on their bias. Could they prove absolutely with testimony and documents that they fixed it so Hillary Clinton would be absolved? Well, of course not. That would be confessing to a crime. You don't reduce it to writing. You don't confess it to the inspector general. But the facts are sufficient and inexorable to reach that conclusion. Mm -hmm. Danny, to restore confidence, though, I mean, you say that this isn't the better part of the FBI, but it was the top for a while, and there were a number of people involved. Does getting rid of that group rid the system of the problem, or do you have to look at how was this able to rise to this level? How was it not detected before it went on? Um, does there have to be, in short, systemic change? Well, I think you have to remember, too, and, and you said it, um, it started at the top. It didn't start with the agents. And I think that, that there, there are many, many aspects of this case. And I think that Christopher Ray is doing a lot of things to see it doesn't happen again. One of the things is going to be training. I'm sure somebody's going to walk in the door and tell the uh, agents and the sport people, if you get involved and let bias affect your investigations, we're going to prosecute you. That's a, that's a great message to put out there. It's, it's kind of sobering. And I'd like to w add one thing, if I could, to what Greg had to say. There's also a civil rights violation here. When mm -hmm. you conspire to deny somebody a civil rights under color of office, that's a crime. And this happened. It's right. It's 18 Danny U.S.C. 242 is the statute, and Danny is absolutely <laughs> right. Abuse of power.
Greg Jarrett, good for you. I love that. Thanks, guys. <laughs>